So my dad had a 68 Firebird when he was growing up, uh, and I'd always seen pictures of it, and I just fell in love with that car. Seeing that growing up and then watching uh, like guys like Roadkill and the Motor Trend channel on YouTube, uh, that really just put my interest through the roof. So I, uh, when I was 16, I got my first car, and it was a 72 El Camino, and I just started from there. That's where I went. The car started out, it uh, has 56,000 original miles on it, and it's sat inside since 1984, I think, is the last registration. So it's had a rough life. It, uh, it started out from bright orange from the factory. It was a factory four-speed car, 350 engine, great car. Then they painted it blue. Then they painted the interior black from brown. Uh, and then they painted it gray. And then they crashed it. So the frame was bent, uh, and it sat inside ever since. Then we bought it and uh, we took the entire body off in our driveway, um, sent the frame out to get straightened, ground everything, sandblasted it, painted it, and just redid just about everything. So this is my 1971 Corvette. This is the heart of it. This is a 5.3 LS from a 99 GMC truck. It's a stock bottom end motor. It's got uh, brand new piston rings in it that I opened up myself. It's got 799 aluminum heads on it. It's got Texas Speed valve springs, a Texas Speed Stage 4 turbo cam, stock intake, fast 85 pound injectors, uh, Flowtech up and forward turbo headers, and a Holley Terminator X ECU. Uh, we're going for bare bones and lightweight. So it's going to have a custom made aluminum dashboard made by myself. Uh, it's going to have the Holley ECU uh, control panel mounted on there, a couple switches, a couple key panels. So this is the rear suspension setup on my 71 Corvette. It's a quick performance uh, Ford 9 inch housing and center section. It's got a Chris Allison's Chassis Works universal four link setup that I custom fabricated to fit in here. I modeled the whole suspension setup on a CAD drawing program from my job and uh, was able to figure out exactly where stuff needed to go and what angle to make it fit perfectly in this car. So this is the GT45 Turbo from Max Peating Rods. It's gonna be hopefully boosting this thing to about 700 horsepower at the crank. And it's hopefully gonna be right about here. I'm custom fabricating the charge pipe and intercooler piping for it. And those will be coming in the near future. The brakes on this car are stock from 1971. I sandblasted them and rebuilt them to make them nice, pretty, and brand new. The wheels and tires are stock Chevy rally rims. They're 15 by sevens in the front and 15 by eights in the back. We actually bought it from a friend of ours who had a body shop uh, around the block from our house. And he was closing uh, up his shop and he was getting ready to scrap the car. So I was like, no way, I, don't do that. I'll buy it from him. Uh, so we bought it from him and, uh, and it just kind of sat for a year or two in the planning stages. And then uh, Hot Rod Drag Week was coming up and I decided, you know what? Let's try and build it. So here we are. 